Christmas? What? We prepared for this. We got protection. We got our secret weapon. All right, what is the secret weapon I was talking about? So I was just having a little bit of fun with the intro and the title and the clickbaity stuff. Um, this is just something really simple to provide some level of protection against an EMP. So what is an EMP? An EMP is an electromagnetic pulse. Uh, frequently these are associated with nuclear weapons. Uh, sometimes advanced countries that have advanced uh, weapons programs can purpose build EMP weapons that are designed to maximize the EMP and not so much the explosion from a nuclear weapon. Um, but at the end of the day, these EMP weapons or fields, um, they destroy electronics. Um, they induce a current in large systems, usually power grids, things like that. But they can also induce a current in small electronics like radios, cars, um, computers, uh, pretty much anything with metal in it. Um, the truth is a lot of small electronics might be safe from EMPs just because there's so little uh, conductive material in here. It's really microchips and small tiny pieces of wire. Um, then it might not be enough metal in here or conductive material to actually destroy it, to induce a large enough current to destroy the electronics. But the thing is, we don't really know. Um, and it might vary a lot from electronics to electronics. Um, some older things like lamps, uh, for example, that are so simple that even if it did induce a large enough current in it, um, the electronics are durable enough to withstand that. These have microchips in them and a lot of really delicate things. And we don't really know how this is going to hold up. They do test... Uh, military grade things like that against uh, how hardy they are against EMPs and things like that but they're not testing um, Chinese made cheap Amazon ham radios or little two-way radios against how they hold up against EMPs uh, that stuff is fairly expensive and they're not going to be doing that for everything um, so anyways this can right here this took me about $30 to put together it's a very simple Faraday cage so if you want to learn more about Faraday cages you can look that up just google Faraday cage but it works by simply bro uh, blocking all the radio frequencies from traveling inside of this. So if there's an EMP that comes through here, uh, it's traveling through, it should get absorbed in here and spread around and not actually go into the things that are inside this can. So in theory, our radios, computers, whatever else fits in here should be protected from an electromagnetic pulse. So we have this in order to keep these things safe so that after some kind of of disaster or event where there is an electromagnetic pulse, we still have access to these things. So I'll show you how I put this together. This whole thing cost $30, uh, not a lot. And you might be able to put this together from things you have around the house. You can use any type of metal container. Um, you can even go larger. They sell these galvanized trash cans um, up to size, like pretty large, like this big off the ground. Um, you can store a lot of stuff in there. And they're relatively cheap. The larger ones are under $40. So if you wanted to go really big, you could. Um, this one was $20. I bought some foil tape to kind of line the insides. That's another $10. So all in all, you're in this thing for about 30 bucks. So I'm going to show you how I put this together. I'll talk a little bit about it. We'll test it and then we'll wrap this up. So here's the inside of the bucket. I mentioned that you could buy this foil tape at Lowe's. A lot of people recommend sealing these seams inside with foil tape. I'm not convinced that that's 100% necessary. They do seem pretty well sealed, but I have this tape from just some HVAC work around my house and it's relatively cheap. So it's kind of up to you if you want to go that route or not. You'll probably be fine if you don't do that. But since I have it, I'm going to go ahead and seal this and we'll take a look at how it looks when I'm done. So we're all done. The hardest part was getting around that seam on the bottom. It took about five minutes, so not too bad overall. But we also, when we went up the sides, we covered the little holes where it's uh, riveted here for the handles. So that's pretty nice. Uh, now we have to get the cardboard in here. Uh, the purpose of the cardboard is to insulate all the electronics inside from the container itself. So you don't want any current or anything traveling from this metal container into the electronics or that kind of defeats the whole purpose of this. So we insulate it with something that's non-conductive. Some people use carpet. I'm just going to use um, cardboard because that's what I have. All right, don't judge me too harshly on this. I'm not a crafter. If you have any experience with any crafts or tape, you'll probably do better than I did. But it's just a simple kind of cardboard bucket that sits in here. Um, I put some paper tape around the edges to keep it down and to cover any exposed metal parts that kind of slip between the cracks.
But this is pretty much it. So we'll fill it up really quick. I'll talk about the things I'm putting in it and then we can wrap this up. You know what, before we wrap up, let's do a little test to show this actually works. So I'm gonna put my phone in there. It's playing some audio that I recorded of myself counting. Just to show you can hear audio through the can. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. It's completely sealed 11, and you can still hear 12, me counting. 13, 14. Okay, now that I showed that you can hear audio through here, we know this isn't great at insulating sound. So we'll move on to the next test. Okay, so let's show that this can block radio frequencies. If this is able to block radio frequencies, that's a good indicator that this will provide some protection against electromagnetic interference from an EMP. At the end of the day, radio frequencies, EMPs, all these things are just electromagnetic radiation. So if we can show it blocks radio frequencies, we should be good. Okay, very low tech test here. So I have it on the local weather station so we can hear the radio, the weather. I'll turn it up, the volume when it's in there. So you can hear it, we'll put the lid on it and hopefully it'll cut out so you can't hear it anymore. It's completely silent. So I'm listening through there. It nothing is coming through. It's completely blocking the radio signals. Once you have that complete seal, it just cuts off completely. And it's not just this blocking the sound. Alright, so before we wrap up, I just wanted to talk really quick about this. Um, I know a lot of people are stressed out. There's a lot of fear going around. Um, it's kind of scary, the situation that's happening in Europe. Uh, we just got through two years of a kind of rough time with the pandemic. Um, not that that's over, but it is kind of ramping down. And I know a lot of people are just stressed and there's a lot of um, anxiety going around. So the, per the reason I made these videos, it's not to make people scared. I'm not trying to scare you into buying this and thinking you need to build this. Um, the truth is, there's not a whole lot that we can do about what's going on in the world. Um, we're kind of just here and we're going along for the ride as average citizens. We're not the ones making the calls and we just kind of have to deal with the repercussions of uh, what's happening with that. And it's kind of scary when you don't have control over things. So I like these little projects because it gives you just a little bit of control, a little something you can do. Um, it might not make a big difference either way, but it's cheap. Uh, you're not going to go bankrupt trying to prepare your house for prepping and go overboard with these type of things. And it gives you a little bit of a sense of that you're doing something and just a little way to spend your time and feel a bit safer. So that's why I do these uh, types of videos. If you want to see more of these type of prepping videos that are kind of cheap and not about turn your whole life upside down to become a prepper and prepare for the apocalypse and the end of days uh, and just kind of have fun with it instead, then leave a comment, let me know, uh, make sure to subscribe. But yeah, so that's why I'm doing this. I'm not trying to scare anybody. If it came across like that, I'm sorry. The beginning was just something fun I wanted to do. So anyway, so the things I'm going to be keeping in here, I'm going to be keeping this Jackery uh, mobile power bank. So this has a 120 volt, so I can power wall outlet things on this. So this will be in here. I will keep this fully charged while it's in here, while I store it. Um, I'm also going to keep two, oops, here it is. Just basic two-way radios from like Walmart, just so we can communicate to each other. Um, if someone has to travel out of the house or things like that. I will keep some extra batteries in there for those. I'm not sure if batteries are susceptible to EMPs. I don't think they are as much just because of their size. But I'm just going to throw them in there anyways. And then finally, I'm going to keep a ham radio. Just because uh, these are fairly useful to have. There's a lot of people that are experienced with radios. And it'll be nice to be able to listen and see if there's anybody out there communicating in the event of some type of disaster. So... I will be keeping this in there and hopefully listening in uh, for anybody that might be on the radio. So this um, this should be able to charge this as well. Um, I might put an old laptop in here, who knows, or a tablet or something just to keep busy. Probably a charger in our ebooks, um, our Kindles too, because those last for a long time. And with this and the Kindles, we should be able to keep uh, those charged for quite a bit. So that's kind of my plan with that. Um, I mean, I'm going to put some extra chargers in here just so I can use with the Jackery, like I mentioned. Uh, the uh, Bofang radio, I'll put a link to that, the ham radio. I'm also going to put the charger for that in here so I can charge it off that Jackery bank. 
but there'll be links to all this stuff in the description so there's that let me know if there's other things you think i should keep in here what would you keep in one of these if you had it would you go bigger maybe keep a whole laptop uh, i'm thinking about building a little one for my generator so i can run gas and charge things and it will run larger things off that um i'm still thinking about that we'll see but i hope you liked this video i hope it was somewhat useful to you um i hope everyone stays safe out there and uh at least enjoy yourselves a little bit while things ramp down and make sure to connect with family and friends and i'll see you out there